everyone welcome again to the reinforced cement concrete in this video we're going to see how we can find the maximum moment of resistance working stress method so let's get started and before we start i would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it so in the previous method we saw how to find whether a section is cracked or not in this video let us see uh, how to find the maximum moment of resistance which is called as MOR which is moment of resistance so in this case what they'll give you is they'll give you a section its dimensions everything and they'll give you the AST values so from this you have to find how much moment this section can carry so that's it so in order to find it you have to do something first is you have to find X balance right second you have to compare X balance and XU you, have, you also have to find XU which is your second step third step would be to compare X balance and XU and based on that you will have uh, three criteria X balance is greater than XU then in this case it is over reinforced X balance is less than XU this under reinforced X balance is equal to XU balanced section in an over reinforced structure concrete fails first because in over reinforced structure steel the amount of steel will be more imagine you have your section here and you have high quantities of steel so the stresses in steel aren't met to the critical point but the concrete right the stresses in concrete they meet the critical point first therefore Concrete fails first. Imagine what would happen if concrete fails first. It will be very sudden because concrete doesn't give any warning. Whereas in under reinforced section, steel fails first, which means the amount of steel provided is less. Therefore, when a structure is loaded, the steel reaches the critical value before the concrete. As a result, the steel yields. When steel yields, these concrete, right? They will give out warning. The structure, it may bend like this, which will give warning to the people below it. Therefore, this structure, that is the under reinforced structure, it is safe. The over reinforced structure, it is unsafe. That is, there is no warning, it is sudden failure. Next, balance section, it is the section where both steel and concrete, I'm sorry, both steel and concrete for the given load, they both yield at the same time. So based on this, based on this, which type of section it is only, we can find the moment of resistance. So if it is going to be a uh, over reinforced structure, then concrete will reach its uh, permissible stress. That is FSC, FCBC, right? FCBC of concrete, it will reach Sigma CBC. So we all know what is Sigma CBC, what is the concrete can take. Therefore, we will go for C into Z to find the moment of resistance. If it had been steel, then we will go to T into Z because we will we will know the permissible stress for steel. That is FST will turn to sigma ST. We will we can with that given condition we can arrive at the permissible stress for steel. We have seen how to find permissible stresses in the previous videos, right? So if it is going to be a balanced section in over reinforced section, it is C into Z. In under reinforced section, it is T into Z. In balanced section, we have the courtesy to use either of the things. We can go with either C into Z or T into Z. It is our convenience. You can use anything. Now that we have seen the introduction to it, let's get into the problem. So I have to find my moment of resistance. They have given me a section and the steel present in it. So first step, uh, say let me find XU first. So in the previous video, I have told you how to find XU already. Uh, we'll be equating the stress diagram the similar using similar triangles we'll get one equation and using the stresses we will arrive at one equation that is using uh, the equation of c is equal to t we will arrive at one equation and rearranging them we will arrive that the 2 ast divided by xu into b is equal to xu divided by m into t minus xu 
so in this uh, from the given properties you will know asc you will know b you will know m m is nothing but yt divided by 3 sigma cbc sigma cbc it will be mostly given if it is not given also with the uh, previous video with the help of the previous uh, lectures you can arrive at the permissible stress in concrete so now my d the only thing i don't know is xu so from this uh, equation i can find xu so my xu it is found so second thing i'm going to find my x balance so what is this x balance x balance is uh, the say this is my section I'm going to assume that this section is a balanced section. So in the so the balanced section means it is going to be like this, and the x u of the balanced section is called as x balance. So in balanced section, instead of f c b c, I will have sigma c b c because in a balanced section, both steel and concrete they will arrive at the permissible stresses that is the critical stresses at the same point therefore fcbc equal to sigma cbc and fst is equal to sigma st and i already know the uh, xu distance is called as x balance in balance section so this is fcbc so i should have my fst by m here this is fst is the stress in concrete if i have to find the stress in steel at that area i have to divide it by m so FST by M is the st uh, stress in steel here. So again, just like the previous case, I'm going to use my similar triangles here. So FCBC divided by X balance is equal to this is FST by M times. So this is X balance means this will be D minus X balance. D minus X balance. So in the previous time it wasn't a balance section but now it is a balance section so I'm going to change this into sigma CBC and sigma ST. Right? So I have to uh, what I have to find I have to find x balance. So on rearranging them I can find that x balance is equal to m d sigma CBC divided by m times sigma CBC plus sigma ST. And you can rearrange and you will arrive at this. So now uh, you, could, you don't have to keep this uh, big equation in mind. You can just substitute the value for m. You already saw what is the value of m. m is equal to 280 divided by 3 sigma cbc. On uh, substituting the values, I am not going to substitute it here. Working stress method time that important. Therefore, I am not spending so much time here. So on uh, substituting it, we will arrive at the formula that x balance is equal to d divided by 1 plus 3 sigma st divided by 280. So don't keep this thing in mind, keep this in mind and always remember X balance is dependent only on the depth of the section and sigma ST that is the stress in steel and not on sigma CBC. Here it may seem like it is dependent on sigma CBC but in reality it is not. So always remember this thing. So I have found my X balance formula. In my X balance formula I already know sigma, uh, sigma ST, I know my D. Therefore my X balance, this is also found. So in my third step, my third step, I'm going to uh, compare both XU and X balance. So let me say why we have arrived the equation that if XU is less than X balance, it is under reinforced. It can be anywhere around, right? But there is a reason, very interesting one, but a very basic one. So let me see here. This is my section. Let us look into another example now, just to understand the concept. So this is my section. Normally, since it's a rectangle, it will be at the distance of D by 2. That is, the centroid will be at the distance of D by 2. Say now, I add extra parts here. Extra parts in my, the bottom of my rectangle. So what will happen to my neutral axis? It will slide down further. It will come down. Because the center of gravity of the triangle will move down. Because there is extra mass concentrated on this point. So remember this uh, one property. So let us go to our section steel. Our RCC. So normal concrete. If that is going to be just my small amount of steel here. Then my 
say this is my x balance okay for a balance section then uh, for a balance section this is the amount of steel so now what I'm going to do is I am going to increase the amount of steel so as I'm increasing the amount of steel the area here increases the area of steel increases just like this case as a result my neutral axis it slides down further it comes down now imagine the bars are in pencil right so I am going to replace them by even smaller bars that is the one in the blue ink I am going to replace them by smaller bars so if the neutral axis is here and the area here has reduced the opposite will happen my neutral axis will go up so this will be my XU for the second case let me change this this will be my XU for the first case so we know that the first case the area of steel was large as a result XU1 is greater than X balance that is the reason when XU is greater than X balance it means it is an over reinforced section in the second case the area of steel was less and as a result the XU was lesser than X balance the, so that's the reason why when x u is less than x balance it is an under reinforced section yeah so let's see how we can find the moment of resistance the fourth step